Hi guys, my name is Robert Feranek. I'm from Federal Academy and today we are going to speak about Octopart. This morning I uh, read about Octopart extension on Altium block and uh, I never I heard about the Octopart before but I never used them. So I was really curious. I went to their website and I decided to test the search. I uh, was looking for a part which I sometimes used and uh, what I found really useful is it suggests the full component part name so I click there and uh, it is quite quick really quick and here you can see where you can buy it how much it cost and how many they have in stock on one page, really quick and very easy, really good. And here is also data sheet. So pretty cool stuff. And uh, I was curious how this was integrated into Altium. So I installed it in Altium. Here you can see how it looks when you have it in Altium. So you select a component, right click, Octopart lookup. Again, it search in their database it find the part and you can see the details and you see where you can buy it how much it costs how many they have in stock you can see the data sheet and you can go when you click here you can go to the supplier website i think it's really useful so i will show you how you can install it in the altium it's really simple and really quick To install the extension, go to your Altium, DXP, Extensions and Updates. Click here. You will see it here. And install it. After the installation, you need to restart Altium. So, I will close it and switch it on again. Just the Altium, you don't have to restart your computer. Okay. Start it again. We are now back in Altium and uh, we can test it. So I right click on this component, on this resistor, Octopart lookup. Here is the resistor. When I click, here I can see where I can buy it. so it works I believe when you create your components you need to create them with some parameters at least they need to be the parameter which uh, has the uh, component uh, part number because if, uh, if I go to a schematic with components without the information I click here for example See, there are no parameters. There's no information about the component. And when I try the Octopart lookup, it looks for nothing because it doesn't know what it should be looking for. So you need to create the components the proper way. What is the proper way? You can find more information about how we create component uh, on our website, the Devil Academy. We have there uh, a lot of free videos. And one of the videos is actually explaining how we create the component uh, through supplier search and import the parameters like uh, part number automatically into your library. This is the video. How to create BOM and library from suppliers data. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching and uh, I hope you found it useful. And see you soon. Bye-bye.